Well, they say the timing is everything. Just wondering if anyone pushing the latest global warming rules from the White House bother taking a look outside any window at the White House. Hi, everyone. Happy to have you. I'm Neil Cudo. And talk about awkward timing. The White House announcing its latest climate change executive action in the middle of a whiteout, setting up new climate hubs to help farmers and soon others. It sounds like maybe taxpayers are on the end of another snow job. To Charles Payne, Dagan McDowell, Admiral Sinsky, Charlie Gasparino, Dr. Payne, what do you think? First of all, it's $150 billion on this kind of stuff and counting. Uh, you know, I find it interesting that, okay, the administration says that, hey, climate change, it creates um, floods, droughts, pest inf uh, infant stations. And farmers are saying, wow, well, we've never had to deal with this before. What can you do for us? <laughs> I mean, come on. Hey, it's, a, it's the craziest thing in the world. So they're going to set up these hubs, and all the cash is going to slosh around to federal agencies, state agencies, uh, uh, universities, and non-government organizations. It sounds like another big-time cash free-for-all for all the administration's friends. Dig it. Well, I think the White House is trying to, after the State of the Union, trying to look like it's doing something. But in the State of the Union and their policies to this day, I don't know why they aren't focusing on, like, natural gas and the shale boom well, in this they, country. They, they have a lot of gas. It's they're, just not the kind natural. that you can fire a power plant with. But, again, half the emissions in a coal plant, they seem to be they're just so fixated on solar and wind and talking about climate change rather than really championing the energy boom in this country. It just boggles the mind. So the picking and choosing is what bothers you. What, what do you think? Well, we have, you know, still very high unemployment. We've got a lot of problems in this country, but this is what they waste their time on. I mean, it's ridiculous. I like to know what a hub looks like. Does anybody, Adam, could you help me with this? What oh, exactly Adam is, all is a hub. hub all the time. <laughs> Adam, what is a hub? What is this hub? <laughs> Plastics. <laughs> I don't know any better what a hub is than, than, than you do. What I, uh, what, what I know is I don't think they're wasting their time. Dagan, first of all, the uh, energy boom doesn't need championi championing. I can't say that as easily as you did. It doesn't need to, to be championed. It's doing just fine. What needs to be championed are other ways of fighting global warming, which is real. And that's really the conversation that we're having. The rest of you don't think it's real. So well, if it isn't I, real, I do. then you're absolutely Adam, right. Adam, I we're actually, wasting I, time I, I and actually money. am not some sort of troglodyte who thinks that that's anti-scientific. I uh, did not call you a troglodyte, okay, Charlie. But, 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 I knew what a troglodyte but, was. But, but, I take offense. But, <laughs> let's, uh, but what makes you think any of these hub things are going to work? I mean, it sounds like... It sounds, ins it sounds stupid, doesn't it? Well, I, I don't hey, even no, just share on, your point, just... Adam. I don't disagree that the, the Earth's warming up a little bit. I just know that it was marketed some years ago as global warming, and then when it di didn't look like we were having as many warm winters as was figured, they called it climate change just to cover everything. Uh, but to, to put this onus exclusively on man for this phenomenon and that, that man must fix it and pay trillions of dollars to fix it, that, I think, is well, the Well, even more specifically, Western man. And by the way, I'll take off my costume and show you how a real troglodyte looks. <laughs> I'm a troglodyte! <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Did you stop next door before? No, go ahead. So, so, I, let my, I let my troglodyte come out. I can't help it. Hey, listen, it's a money grab. It's a money right. grab. I mean, to your point, go throughout history. We've had cycles. We've had weathers up, down, right. warm periods. Cold periods, the dinosaurs are wiped out. Man didn't exist. The automobile didn't exist. It's it's all nonsensical. It's all based on a fear-based sort of agenda. We keep scaring right, the totally masses as much as possible, and we and we loot the place at the same time. Our CO2 emissions have been falling in recent years, and the biggest emitter of carbon dioxide is China. And they always pick on Look, the United States, and it's an issue. It's an issue of how you reduce emissions. Gas fired, natural gas fired power plants. We're doing it faster and cheaper than Europe where you have these massive subsidies and these giant mandates that they have Look, to pull back in. because it costs so much money. Go ahead, Adam. So, so uh, look, I, 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 was, so I want to take the joking out of it. I really believe what you know, Charles Why? in we particular, what so you're saying, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're, you're, what you're, you're, the position you're representing here, it's not being a troglodyte, you're anti-progress. I mean, we created automobiles, Hubs it turns out automobiles were really dangerous, so oh, we God. added safety features Adam, to I do automobiles, and guess me, what? Adam, I'm not can done. I just ask then you then? Let him finish, let him finish, Go ahead. And, and then fewer people are dying from it. My point is, we, man is creating a lot of these problems, not all of them, and so we should do what we can okay, about right, the to problems that, point, that we're creating. Hubs are the answer. <laughs> 
And uh, no, even being low, they're not. I mean, it redist- sounds so insane. Redistribution of money will will clearly climb it. This is what I don't get. Raising my taxes is going to clear the air. There's the point because it always comes down to that. It always comes down to spending taxpayer money on something. And somehow it gets redistributed into the pockets of people who just so happen to be friendly with the administration. And it doesn't what change it your facts. To, it doesn't change your facts, Adam, and, not mine. And to suggest it's purely scientific. I mean, this is the environmental movement is a political movement. This is not pure science. This is a political movement, Adam. You know it. And they and they and they manipulate the numbers all the time. So it's, it's hard to believe exactly everything that they say because they manipulate so much to push Charlie, an agenda. Charlie, it's hard to believe anything Come on, anybody you really said think that. That's why we're journalists. I didn't want you this to get to be a global warming debate, so I'm going to end it here at this point. It is not going to be a global warming debate.